Hello everyone and welcome to a vlog that <laughs> I have no idea what's gonna come of it. Um, this is just one of those things that I would have never even known about if not for my mom. Uh, I feel like, I don't know, maybe I didn't mention it in a video but uh, probably a month, couple months ago, I was bringing G into the vet just for, uh, you know, his annual exam and whatnot. And on the way there, my mom called. Well, she had texted me also when I was on my way to the vet and, you know, I'm driving. I can't check my phone. <laughs> but I was using my GPS and so I had seen that she had texted, but like I said, I wasn't about to look at it because I was driving and then like five minutes later I see that my mom is calling me and I'm like oh my god maybe this is like an emergency something happened so I pick up the phone kind of bracing myself you know like if something terrible had happened or went wrong I picked up the phone and I was like hello my mom was like hey did you see my text it's like no mom I'm driving <laughs> she went on to explain to me that I don't know what she was doing online where it popped up but either way an ad i'm pretty sure an ad for this event popped up for her and she was like we have to go <laughs> and it was an ad for the bat i don't know if it's the bachelor or the bachelorette does it really matter i don't think so but that franchise and it's live <laughs> no when i first heard that i was like so what do they do live? I mean, these are just people on drama, trashy reality TV. It's not like they have specific talent. I mean, who knows? I'm sure they're all talented in their own right, but like, it's not like we're going to see American Idol live or something, you know, something that would actually be a show. And to this day, I really haven't looked, but I guess I'm gonna go and see The Bachelor slash Bachelorette live. <laughs> with my mom, which is great. I mean, she and I, as many of you know, we have our weekly trashy TV nights where we watch trashy TV, good old reality television, and The Bachelor, Bachelorette is absolutely on our list of guilty pleasures, along with like Temptation Island just started back up. That's really exciting. But Married at First Sight, Below Deck, really, if it's trashy reality TV, we're down to at least give it a try but certainly one that has stuck around that we thoroughly enjoy watching, as well as the rest of the Bachelor Nation here. Maybe it expands even outside of the States, but we're big fans. Now granted, we didn't watch, I actually don't know, I feel like maybe my mom watched the first episode or two of this latest season with, wasn't his name Clayton? I was not interested in the slightest in that guy. I heard it was very good, but like all of the previews for it, basically, even before the season had aired even a little bit, it was spoiling to the end. And like, you can see the final three contestants. So like, the fact that none of the trash really happened until the finale, and even then it was just like, who cares? Like, why even bother watching it if I already know who's gonna be at the finale? And they even like explained in the preview what the drama was between the final contestants. Like, I don't know. I just, I didn't care to watch this latest season. I heard it was good. So who knows? Maybe one of these days I will binge watch it just in the background. But I have no idea who is going to be there tonight. Aside from an audience full of screaming women, I'm pretty sure. I think, for anyone who doesn't know, I do live in Minnesota in the Twin Cities area. That's where Becca is from and Michelle. And I think Becca's gonna be there. I don't know why. I feel like my mom read that somewhere or something, but I think it's just gonna be like one random guy from the series, not even like an actual bachelor from the series, but like just a previous contestant he's gonna be hosting it or something but like it didn't say who that was gonna be so I don't even know that we're gonna know who the host is or whatever <laughs> someone's off they want an early start They're, I'm gonna get there before everybody else although that is apparently a thing apparently we do have to go quite early because they are checking to see that everyone in the audience is fully vaccinated so you've, you've got to bring your card and proof of all of that so that's good but uh yeah i have no idea what to expect other than apparently 
I don't, I think it's just gonna be like a portion of the show, but they're gonna kind of set it up like the show where they're gonna give, I think, five people from the audience, they're randomly gonna get selected and they get to like go up on stage and have the limo experience where they get to pretend like they're on the show in the beginning, like with introductions and stuff. I have no idea. I want so badly for my mom to get chosen. <laughs> Although she has said time after time, if she is one of the random people that gets chosen, she's gonna make me go up there, which I think will be much less fun. I would rather just watch her have to go through it. But, you know. I get it. She's a married woman. I am a single lady. Whatever. It's highly unlikely. I actually don't even know how big the auditorium is that we're going- I don't even- forget off the top of my head which place it even is that this is being held at. Like I said, my mom bought the tickets and did all of the stuff, so either way, it'll be a jolly good time. We're gonna go and get dinner beforehand. I don't think I've been to wherever it is that we're getting dinner. I can't even think of what it's called off the top of my head, but it's downtown. It'll be, like I said, a jolly good time. I have no idea like what the dress code is, if it's like a casual event, if we're all supposed to be in our formal attire like on the bachelorette and the bachelor i'm not gonna be wearing a ball gown <laughs> i really don't even know if i'm gonna be wearing a dress i probably i maybe i will i don't know we'll see i mean i'm wearing contacts so it must be a big deal a big event that i'm wearing my contacts so yeah that's about all i can tell you for now we're gonna take you on the road with us take you to dinner and hopefully in the show i mean i didn't say anything about cell phones being prohibited which i would think then extends to cameras not being prohibited since most people's phone has a camera on it these days so i don't know i hope i'll be able to film some of it for you guys show you some of the highlights of what went down this evening but we shall see in any case i just thought it would be fun to bring you guys along my mom is gonna be here in a little less than an hour i'm running a little late but that's okay i'm just planning on doing some light makeup anyways so all will be fine i will not make us late but yeah that's what's happening today brace yourselves friends this might be a wild ride can you imagine if i get chosen that would be so random and mortifying and exciting all at the same time. Let's see what we got. Do I wear... Maybe I do wear a dress. Some stripes? Maybe we can turn this dress into a better memory. I got broken up with in this dress. <laughs> now this can be my bachelor live dress. All right, my mom just got here. She got here early. Just put on a little lip gloss. Ta-da. I need jewelry. But here's my makeup look. The curl gods were on my side today. I act like I'm going on a date, like, <laughs> silly. Um, but here's the makeup, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. pretty simple, but a little glitter on the eye. Never hurt, right? Here's the dress, it's a dress. <sighs> I'm filling it out a little better than I used to. <clears throat> But got some tights on. I just wanted some sheer black tights, but the only ones I could find were these ones with the little studs on them. So studded tights. I'm just wearing some boots because uh, it's really rainy outside. But yeah, do we see next to the gorgeous trash can? Here's the bottom of the fit. Ooh, and for jewelry. There, she's simple, but she's real pretty if you ask me. I like it. Can't forget my ring. A little perfume. Woo! We're on the road again. Yeah, yeah. We're going to the bachelor. Is it the bachelor or the bachelorette life? I think it's bachelorette. Okay. That doesn't make sense. Why? Because if we're if there's only one guy and a bunch of chicks. Um, Good point. Yeah. See, I was thinking, like, because it's going to be a bunch of girls in the audience, I'm assuming, mm -hmm. we are the bachelorettes. I see. And he is the one man vying for all of our love. Oh. A little twist on the franchise. Yes, yes. I'm not sure, but... And we don't know who it's going to be. Right. Yeah. We know it's a choice. We know Rodney's going to be a choice. He's gonna be there? No, he's in choice. Oh, okay. My mom wants Rodney to date me, and I'm like, Mom, I am not his type. 
he literally says that he's into fit athletic chicks. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> like everything I'm not. That's right. You don't so, want no. I mean, I think he's funny, but. Yeah, he's a very nice person. Yeah, but he wouldn't be into me. And the place we're going to eat. Rock Bottom Brewery. Same block as the State Theater downtown Minneapolis. And have you been there to eat? I know I've been there for drinks. That's about it. Just wound up, you date ya. We're on the road, the very rainy road. For a fun night of screaming women. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> rain, rain. Go away. But I'd prefer you over snow. Yes, any day. Not any day, but these days. It's been a long winter. City. It's there, behind all this rain. You'll have to take my word for it. <laughs> we have entered a very fancy building. I don't belong here. Oh, it's a head with a hat on. Fancy. Do you feel fancy, Mooty? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Parked in, parked in the perfect spot. What are you tapping my fupa for? <laughs> State Theater. Oh, I see. Okay. And then we go across the way. Yeah. Mm, that Sonoma sounds good. Should we, do you want to share it and then each get a salad? Yum. Yeah, I think you made the right choice on the blueberry lemonade. Well, you can taste my lemonade. It sounds good to me. If not, a quick way to get effed up is a Long Island iced tea. Oh my god. See, I got the drive. That's true. Yeah, you can. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> yum. Yum. Ooh, it's full. Cheers. Oh, they made mine strong. Did they? Holy crap. Well, that's good, because I'm driving, so I'm... Mm -hmm. Perfection. Cassie's <laughs> getting tipsy tonight. <laughs> Could be good or bad. <laughs> Salad time. Vinaigrette time. Yummy time. It's very plain looking, mm -hmm. but who knows, maybe it's delicious. What about the edges? They forgot to put it all the way up to the edges. Yeah, this one's going to be a lot of bread. Mm -hmm. That bums my shit. <laughs> Too dark. Oh, we knew that was dead. Mom is. Oh, he's got me. <laughs> he got me. <laughs> I'm sure he gets it a lot. Yeah. Do you want to tell them what you were trying to film? Oh, hi. <laughs> I had something to I saw Peter, Becca's new ball from. New boyfriend from. Was that his name? That's not his name. I thought it was like AJ or something. Let's see. His name is Thomas. Oh, God. <laughs> this is who it was. Oh, my God. All these women are just frothing at the mouth. <laughs> Mom was able to snatch a picture. And she thinks maybe Becca's parents? Question mark? Mom was not satisfied with rabbit food. Nope. So now, brownie time. Oh, uh, yeah. Warm brownie. 
through the hardest part of the night. in bed here. Ugh, I don't want to get too comfy. Because <sighs> I could. I could absolutely pass out right here and now. Ugh, what a night. All at once, it was exactly what I was expecting and also not at all what I thought. <laughs> it was fun overall. I'm really glad my mom and I got to go and just have a fun night out together. Um, there are definitely some things that I think, I mean, I guess it just wasn't what I was expecting, but then, you know, all in all, when I'm thinking about it, it's exactly what The Bachelor Live would be. They basically just did it where it was like a sped up version of a season of The Bachelor, but with a bunch of people from the audience. I thought that was gonna be like a small portion of the show. I don't know, I thought that it was gonna be like, you know, them talking about behind the scenes and like showing different things like that and just talking amongst themselves, Becca and whoever the other guy was gonna be on stage for whatever city that they're in at the time, but it wasn't. <laughs> and so just the fact that the whole show was about a fake show. Like, there were no stakes in it. All of the contestants were from the audience. And it would have been really fun if you knew somebody from the audience that was up there participating. And I wish I would have known. I thought it was going to be like a random poll that they were going to do from the audience, but you had to audition beforehand or like send in a little resume or something. I'm not exactly sure. But so they picked out the people beforehand. So if I would have known that, I absolutely absolutely would have auditioned because it would have been fun like I said um, and going up there getting to play all the little games or whatever and maybe winning some jewelry that was basically what the whole thing was I mean not only getting to be up there and having fun with Becca and whoever the guy was being the bachelor but for some of them like if you won the first impression rose or you know if you won the date rose or whatever they gave some free jewelry to the people but yeah it was a bunch of drunk middle-aged women in the audience just screaming for the people that were up on stage, you know. At least if the women knew someone on stage and the people that were sitting right in front of us definitely knew someone that was on stage, so they were going ham. But it was fun getting to drive home a little delirious and ready for bed and singing in the car with my mom. She tries. She tries very hard to sing and it brings me immense joy <laughs> to witness. So, yeah, overall, fun night. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing some snippets and just kind of a random little vlog from me. Like I said, I didn't know what to expect myself, so it was fun getting to take you guys along for the ride. As I said, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have ever been to a Bachelor Live. I guess, you know, it has been a couple years just because of COVID and everything, but uh, I, now they're back. And you guys should, like I said, let me know if you have been to one, how 
how was it for you? Was it what you were expecting? Are you a part of Bachelor Nation? Just let me know all of the things in those comments down below as always. You can also let me know if you enjoyed the video by giving it a thumbs up down below. I would really appreciate it. And if you're new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe. You can tippity tap the notification bell down below and become a member of my casserole family here on my channel. I'd love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. Until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!